In part one of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I would set up an edge to edge and a border pattern on the same quilt project. The first thing I do is come to my pattern library and select all the patterns that I want to use on my project and the Z square. Uh, these are free patterns that we have in our software in a pattern library from Wasatch Designs and TJ Spicer and the Z square. So here we go. All right, I always create a template when I am custom quilting or semi custom quilting. And to do that, I bring in my Z square and I make sure maintain ratio is off. And I want to make this first square the exact size of my quilt. My quilt is 50 by 40. Bring it in, stack it right on top, right click pattern center. All right, and now I need to bring in my borders. Right click copy, come over here and resize this to 38 inches by 28 inches. All right, bring this in and stack it right on top. All right. And now I have a stop border in between this border and the edge to edge. So I'm going to right click copy, change this to 36 inches by 26 inches. Okay, and now I'm gonna bring this down and stack it on top. I don't need all of these pattern centers now. So I'm gonna come in, right click, pattern center, and it gets rid of that one. I'm gonna to touch this one, right click, pattern center, and it removes that one. But I still want this one. I don't know why, but I want that. So um, I'm going to now click out in the white part of my viewport, right click, select all, right click, lock. And now I've created a template of my quilt that is actually on my frame. Now I'm going to bring in my border corner, there it is. And I know that this pattern is, uh, my borders are six inches. So I'm gonna come in, put maintain ratio back on, and I'm gonna make it be a six inch border. There it is. Bring it up and lay it down. All right, I bring it down just a little bit, okay? And now I'm going to come to the wreath tool I want four repeats, I don't care about distance from center, and I want a 90 degree rotation. Preview, there they are. Accept, transform. Bring it down, right click, ungroup. Here's the first one that I created, okay? Here's the second one. And now I really don't need the two on the bottom because I'm going to actually mirror, copy and mirror those, but I wanted to show you that if you want to do this, you can. Because when you use the wreath tool, the patterns come in in the right orientation, okay? So start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, okay? But now I'm gonna delete these. There you go. And I'm gonna bring in my first, re my first repeat of the border. There it is. Come over here, size this to six inches. There it is, and I'm gonna bring it in, and I'm gonna set it right on top. Okay, I'm gonna make this a little smaller, okay? Whatever I need to do to make this fit the way that I want it to fit, okay? Still smaller, okay? Let's bring this one down a little bit. There we go. Um, I can make this a little bit longer, a little bit wider, whatever I need to do to make it fit like I want. Okay, I like that. Now I'm going to come to the edge to edge tool and I'm gonna go more, 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 okay? When I like what it looks like, I'm gonna to come to the transform tool, touch, and I'm gonna pull it out, all right? Now this one, I can uh, make it a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger. I actually think I have to make it a little bit bigger. Bring it over, um, bring it up, whatever I need to do to make them fit like I want. There it is. This one probably needs to come in just a smidge and maybe down just a little bit out until I get it the way that I want, all right? So now I'm going to come in here, grab everything, right click, copy, right click, mirror, and I'm going to bring it down, all right? And then I'm gonna set it right in here, just like so, okay? But if you can see this, these feathers are coming this direction, and these feathers 
are coming this direction. So I need to flip them, okay? And now you can see that the feathers are going in the right direction around, okay? So there it is. So I've got the first border and the second border, and they seem to be correct, except that, nope, they're correct. All right, so now I don't uh, sew down the borders as I go. I would actually base this, put my edge to edge in here. When I got done, I would uh, rotate my quilt and then do these borders. But I'll show you how to come clear around the corner. So I would bring uh, touch here, excuse me, touch here, right click, ungroup, touch this, right click, copy, and I want to rotate it clockwise 90 degrees and I'm gonna bring it right here and lay it right on top here, all right? And now I'm going to come to the edge to edge tool and go more, more, more till it comes around, all right? When I like it, I'm going to uh, come back to transform, touch and pull down, okay? Pull it out a little bit, pull it over, whatever I need to do to make it fit, okay? Because this is just the idea. I'll finesse this more when I um, actually use my push pins. And now I'm going to right click copy. I'm going to bring it over. But again, you see that my pattern is going the wrong direction. So I want to right click. I think it's mirror. There we go. Let me see. There we go. So now my border is coming all the way around in the correct rotation. All right, and you can see that that looks pretty darn good. So now I'm going to right click, group those, touch them, right click, lock. So now they are also part of my template. They won't move while I create my edge to edge. So I'm going to bring my edge to edge in, make sure maintain ratio is on, and I'm going to size this using my little handles any way that I want, or I can come over here and say that I want these to be six inches. Okay, whatever I want to do, but I tend to do this with maintain ratio on. Line it up, come to the edge to edge tool. And I want to keep fit on because I don't want to have any uh, lines sewn up here. And this is a border to border pattern because you can see that it's flat on both, all four sides, okay? So I'm gonna come down here and I'm going to say that my quilt is my actual quilt top is 35.5, okay, by um, 25.5 because I like to have a little bit of fudge room. And I'm going to generate my edge to edge. So there's my edge to edge. Now I'm going to come in here and pu pull these down just like if it was an edge to edge. Make sure that I like my spacing. Accept. There it is. So you can see now that, um, and I'm going to come back to transform. You can see now that I have got my borders and I've got my edge to edge. So now it's time to finesse this into the actual quilt. And that will be part two of this tutorial.